It is the Executioner versus the Plague. First game up in round five, the last round of the group stages before we head on to the quarterfinals and from there, the semis and the third place game and the final. Okay, game on in Ormond for the Executioner playing for his World Cup survival and narrow path to a qualification. But he and the team will be wanting to keep the door open here. Talking off. Booting in this one. Checking out a gen to the left. Going to put some pressure on immediately. There's some commitments to the gen. Getting over the hill. Taking an efficient line. As they double back. Good move from Kate. Going back around. Okay. Nicely played there for the Executioner. Won't be able... Or maybe... Oh, I'll tell you what. Tell you what, with the two range add-ons, that would not have been as far away as you might imagine. As there's gem movement on middle gen, actually, she's going to try and put a stop to that. Oh, good play from Quentin. So you've seen live, you've seen sprint burst, a couple of scary ex uh, exhaustion perks already here. They presumably will want to drop down immediately. Can the executioner counter that? Did they not? Oh, great play from them. Great play from them to uh, exhibit restraint and to stay away from the Executioner who is relying on them vaulting prematurely. They do not, and this may already be a bit too long with far, far too little to show for it for the Executioner, but we'll get an injury here on Quentin. Bit of a speculative range attack, you never know. Worth giving it a go in that situation. You've still got them around this tile as your first gen pops, probably. The first of many here. And a bit of a foregone conclusion once you have someone on the planet like that. So, gem pops. But on the hook board is the executioner, assuming he can get over to this one, which should not be an issue. Okay. He'll be wanting, of course, to head back to middle gen as quickly as possible. The ski lodge, such an important gen to keep on side here. Getting some trailer torment out there as well. Oh, but he won't be able to. That's unbelievable commitment to the ski lodge. Thought you maybe had just a little bit more time than you did. Is there now? Here's Michaela, gets us done. They'll be fleeing the scene. Oh, and the executioner kicking that door actually working against him there. Because they had an easy means of escape. Um, gonna go back. Kick the pallet. Even for steps just off to the right. Presumably, they're upstairs. I want to keep abreast of where your three gen is for the executioner, and it might well be the three down this line. Big question mark as to whether you can keep Killer Shack on side. So there goes Deathbound. Someone getting back on that gen. So a bit of obliviousness for the healer. Pair that with the unsectability from Trailer Torment from the kick. Could there be a chance of putting pressure on this gen? Good stuff. Gets the injury. Will be Michaela heading not upstairs, downstairs. Does this do anything? Worth a shot. Indeed, they were just heading off to the left and never really had a chance, that range stack. Back on their tail. I mean, suffice it to say, from what is already a fringe case, this will not be enough. Great play from Michaela doubling back there again. Just met his match on too many occasions as the Executioner. Oh, but anticipating the double back maneuver. Pulling the range attack where it needed to be. Getting a second hook, but two hooks to two gens, and you imagine at least one will be on the way. There it is. That wasn't even the one the Executioner thought would pop. Much more scared about these two. The three gen we were discussing is still in play. It's not an amazing 3-gen, but it's what the Executioner will have to hang his hat to. His very large conical hat. As in comes Quentin. Realises the folly of his actions and flees the scene. Needs a quick chase. Needs a bit of snowball. Needs a couple of hooks in quick succession as they will charge up Sprint Burst and get it there. And not leaving any scratch marks for a bit, which was very surprising and concerning. There goes a double screen. Look for a range attack. Oh, 
Hoping to double back into it. They did not. They burn here. There you go. That's the injury that you needed. Already. It seems like another chase has gone on just a little bit too long. Although, they did stay around that loop. Opened up the possibility of another range attack. And it does come through. Four. Oh. Executioner here. Oof. Hard work this. They are making the killer work for every single victory. Oh, thank you, Sergi. So yeah, I forgot about changing game's DBT. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's Monday after all. As Jen and Killer Chat Pops. At least two people there. Are all three there. Kate is here. Claudette is here. Kate clean the scene. Again, trying to cancel the double back. Doesn't quite work. Sending him out to no real avail. There you go. Using the Killer Instinct knowledge. Getting the hit. Could be a really quick double up here with Trail of Torment. Into the door where they go. And nice job from the Executioner. That was more of what he needed. Do you know what? They're cageable. They're preferring the basement here. They think the basement, especially with, with it being right on their doorstep, offers just that little bit more. With a cage work with a torment in the stairs to give you intel as to when someone moves in. Could be very, very good for them. Swirling all around. It's a three-gen situation. It's a scary three-gen situation. They're all over the shop here for the Executioner. We'll be looking for some unstable some big overcharge regression. Heading over to Little Ray's Shed. That's what it's called. That's the official competitive type name for this tile. Little Ray's Shed. And now coming back. Last second. Gets the injury. Good play. Okay. Looking to use every bit of the range tax range here. And we'll get it. Some great stuff here. The question is, is it just a little bit too little, too late? Especially considering the hook total the executioner really, really needs to, to give himself any chance. Losing the survivor at this stage certainly helps. Heading back to the basement here. Survivor running off to the right. That will be the executioner's next quarry, the next target. So there's a bit of gem movement here. Thinking that range attack moving around here. Good play from there. Get the stun. If you're going to bring this game back, if you're, the over, if, you're, if you're the Overcharger, the Overcharger, what a great killer name that could be. If you're the Executioner, is getting Overcharge out there. So certainly going to kick that. Yep, very little opportunity for the dodge. That'll be a nice injury paired with that pallet burn. Someone running off to the left, but that is not Claudette. They're pivot, pivot back in Ski Lodge. Get the injury. That slows them down. Oh, tried a very speculative range attack there. Oh, and they're already scarper to the left. Good play from them. Slow Vault keeps the Executioner in this. They're very on the ball with their dodges, but maybe a chance of giving away the melee attack. They're going to run through. That gives, them, that gives the M1 here very nice from the Executioner. Not been doing that a lot. Not been faking out too much there. Going to burn. And just staying where they need to be to avoid these range attacks. Go window. Should have used I'm all ears a little bit more practically there. Wasn't able to. It could be all over unless... Oh! You feel like that had to happen when it did. It leaves uh, an outside chance of maybe keeping the gens in check. Going through the power. That's needlessly risky. Scary gen here. Can I get the boot? Always thought it was an outside chance that you'd do enough to keep the gens on side. Having said that, there's maybe still an outside chance you need to keep these gates in check. So there they go. What an injury that is. Again, every ounce of the range required needs another quick double up here. Oh, what a play. And knowing as he does, it has to be a 4K. He's going to head back. A lot you're relying on here. But the gate hasn't been moved. There's no unbreakable. The immediate pivot to the left. Going to boot the pallet. He's doing what he needs to do. And it is going to be a big, big end game here. Not hanging around. Oh, they've done really well to be evasive. To get away. All the way around here. They'll be surely looking to get this gate before they get the pick up. Head over to it. Apply some pressure. Get a pick up. Have to imagine 
I get to the left will be the one they go for. Maybe not, maybe not. Oh my god, got another injury. They come back for pallet stun. Burnt on the wrong side just. Does this range tank get it? You are asking maybe way too much of it on that occasion. You feel like you are relying on altruism. There's surely been time for at least one of the survivors to head to the other gate, get that moving. Oh, if that was delayed by even half a second, that would maybe connect. No pallet here, at least. Good news. Finally for the executioner camp, but um, again, going to be a tough situation. Exceptional counter plays from the Claudette. Very, very good. Might be in this chase right here, denying the executioner a, a place in the quarterfinals. Getting as close as you can, sending it, trying to be effective, trying to ask the question. Denied time and time again. They go window, won't quite get that. He's going to take the cage. And the cage might well be the thing that, that, uh, that kind of gets the survivors looking for altruism. Because Executioner won't be there to defend it. They can go in. What you're hoping for here is that you stumble upon the cage. Get a really impactful range tag, but maybe it comes with it a couple of dying states. There's the cage. It's over here. Team healing up, but where is the question? Kate is healed up. Surely Michaela healing her. Okay. That is such an impactful death bound. As a survivor running in over yonder. It's Kate. Going to slow vault the pallet. Will they be looking to open this gate? Going to come back for the pallet kick. I need time on the uncage. Oh, there it is. And they've opened the gate. No BT on that. We'll take that dining state. Hoping that keeps Kate in the game. Okay, they're running off to this gate. Great little dodge from Michaela. That's exceptionally well played. Yeah, and nothing you can do in the face of that. They've both left. They've both left. How many hooks will this be for the Executioner is now the question. Ten... And he is competitive, but it can't be. No. No, it'll be nine. So, the Executioner, valiant effort, especially towards the end, but is eliminated. Great team. She'll have to get it done on the Fractured Cow Shed. That's have a brutal Mori. Yeah, maybe one of the most interesting ones in the game. Can you get a long-range gen infection? Yes, good stuff. <clears throat> Sorry, good stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Let's head over to Killer Shack Gen. And with those gens infected, you know the moment anyone gets on one, you get that done. Hey! And you got Adam right here. So, chase on. Holding up too long. Need some infection out of it. Don't get it. Don't get it. Will it be a pallet burn? It will not. Around, and it should be good enough to get a, at least a little bit of infection. There you go. Get the burn. Took a little bit too, took a little bit too long to accrue it. So hiding around the corner. No pallet here, remember. There's your eerie. Oh, there's I'm all ears, sorry, that isn't the eerie add-on. The eerie add-on won't be in effect just yet. Oh, none of that connecting. Really good evasive maneuvers from Adam. It won't burn. Just rear up around here. Lots of those kinds of loops, the hay bales really denying in a big way. Eventually, hitting the broken status effect, the vinyl emetic surely doing some work to hasten that along. Um, big infection otherwise as well, just, just getting those few gens done is an exceptional work. That might be the point at which you move to pastures new. Sorry, the only one not infected, not for long. This is good for the plague. Not in the hooks, but certainly getting the uh, getting the infection going in a big way. Won't be too far along here. Won't be too far away, I should say. Should force Killer Shack if they get broken, yeah? They will burn Killer Shack. Well, not not getting much on the way of hooks, but certainly injuries and certainly some good map management for the plague here. So there goes your first gen. Whole party infected. Does anyone... 
go for the fountains. That's certainly what Plague is going to do. Going to try and get Corrupt Purge early. A good job of getting everyone injured. That isn't all, that hasn't always been the case for the Plague. Getting one or two folks um, infected, sure, but hasn't really enjoyed this kind of game state too often. Has Corrupt, has a survivor as well on the left. Moving in, it's Vittorio. And I think they were resigned to their fate there. So. Good stuff for the Plague. In the hooks. Keeping on the other survivors, seeing the aura over there, seeing the aura over there as well. The survivor a bit closer, so maybe an opportunity for some corrupt purge. Some purging of the corrupt as they go to kill a shack. You go through that window with this. Oh, it's a moot point as they flee the scene. Up and over. Alley oop. Alley oop. Just the trees there to deny, I think. And that'll be Corrupt Purge gone. Might not be too upsetting, especially if you can put yourself in a position for the M1. Good move from the Plague, and that will be. Oh, she wrote for that one. Would have maybe been looking for more from that exchange. From that Corrupt Purge, but does get a couple of decent hooks. Second hook in the books. And the vision from the Eerie of the barn gen being moved. Would love to deny it. Would love to get Jolt on it as well. You haven't got undetectability. But don't need it when they run right towards you. Huge play. Huge play. Not only the dying state, but Jolt as well. Very, very good. Here for the play. Could not tap the gen again. So that is still, so that is still regressing. You get the feeling there's someone very nearby. Oh! And there you go. Asked and immediately answered. Good play. Two cumulative jolt hits on that barnyard gem. What a good state of affairs for the plague now. Remember, nine hooks to score to beat for her. Still not out of the running for the, qualifi for the qualifiers for the playoffs, but still looking for a bit of pride here and... In that regard, made an exceptionally strong start. No one curing the sickness whatsoever. Um, which, listen, it can be a ploy, it can be a tactic. It can also leave self a bit open to a snowball. Case in point. Okay. Hello, Funk, welcome in. Happy Monday to you. I'm doing well, thank you. I'm feeling pretty chipper today. I hope you are too. Feeling good. Done well. Done well to unhook everyone else, get themselves back in the game. They will surely, surely now uh, be looking for fountains, be looking to rid themselves of this sickness. The Satorio heads. Is this still BT? No, it is not. Get this pick up from easy. Oh, Maury! Maury! Okay. Well, never you mind the hook. How's about a little bit of this? Great stuff for the plague. Take some bubble gum. Chew on that sunshine. There we go. That's a better one-liner. With the bubble gum little weapon there. Perfect. Marvellous. Someone dead on hook. Here we are. Don't giving you the aura for Ada. I mean, where was this plague in earlier games? She would have been a force to be reckoned with. This is maybe one of the most not one of the most dominant performances we've seen all tournament long. Heading over here, seeing Claudette with the Iriadon again. They're also going to get the vault, unfortunately. Oh, the door's been kicked. The door's been kicked. So taking a nice efficient line inwards, they can try and get to a pallet. They won't quite be able to, though, though it was very close. Very close indeed. And there is the cure attempt. They should have time to make that work. They do. But plague with the intel as to where they are. Head over there immediately as they flee to the left. Looking like a surefire thing now. Plague is going to get the win. Well deserved. This has been a truly, truly dominant display. Can you get puke through there? It's a great question. Looks like the answer is no. Hitbox may be a bit larger for that range tag. Go play for me. They've just, they've just skirted away. They've fled the scene. 
Yeah, if the survivors cleanse all fountains, it resets them all, and the plague is forced to take the corrupt purge. But it can be a good play because it, it means that the plague doesn't get one after the other. They just get the one hit and then they've got nothing left to take from. This is really good, effective countering. A looping from Ada. Looking for the infection? Just get it. That is crucial. That was a crucial bit of infection. It means they're on the timer until they are broken. And, and uh, in a tough spot. They shouldn't be far from broken now. Time is dwindling down. Dwindling, dwindling. Whatever the verb, that's what it is. As there is a broken state effect. Here we add on. Hatch to the right! They've not heard it. And it's a dying state. What a game. Very, 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 very strong one. No, no superlatives will do this one justice. Just been on it all game long. Certainly the Iriadon, a big help, but by no means the only decisive factor. Plague in dominant fashion, bowing out the tournament with a brilliant win against the Executioner. So, two losses for the Pyramid Head, 34, his final hook tally. Plague finally in the win column, 40, a hook tally. Let's resort, see what that does to the group with one game still to play here. It means that Plague uh, leapfrogs the Pyramid Head on five points. A reasonable tally, a strong tournament from her uh, Pyramid Head, currently in third. And we now play a dead rubber game, so to speak. Neither the Oni nor the Dredge can qualify, but they'll be looking to get uh, one last good performance out there. One more opportunity for me to be frustrated beyond belief at the uh, Blood Fury activation. So, good stuff ahead. Right. Back to the World Cup after that. Uh, well, re-announcement, I suppose. Oni versus Dredge. Neither of them qualified. Both mathematically eliminated. Just looking to get one last. It's a good game out there. And it's going to be on the new variant of Gas Heaven, which we're still sort of acclimatizing ourselves to a little bit. Bit. There's big movement up ahead. Big, big movement already on this gen. Looking for the overcharge kick. We'll get it. And seeing it's near. It will be near. Good injury. They go around the periphery over here. Lost them very briefly, but able to regain them. Find them again with the scratch marks. Over to Killer Shack. It says monologue. Is that live? It is not. So it'll be another injury for the Oni. Really good stuff in the Oni. Burning. Oh, burning a pallet as well and getting blood orbs in play. We'll get Demon Fury there. Someone's back on the gem of overcharge. M5. Didn't work immediately. Does eventually. Can we get back over to this gen? Is there a chance of a quick exposed hit? Is they going to pivot to the right? Are they in this locker? They oh, are. It's a head on play. Well done, Biden. Flashbang. There you go. Good stuff. Demon Dash, guessing where they've gone. Not guessing correctly. They're hanging around. Back into a locker? Do you think? Yes, okay. Good awareness from the only there. And this will allow him a pop goes a weasel into overcharge kick. And here is as good a gen as any. Presumably there's a bit more movement on this, but just wants to get that regression out there. Uh, Monologue still injured, so still some blood orbs around this map. Are they going to commit to this? They're not going to be able to. So, overcharge on gen. No FOV tech survivor hiding behind the gen. And leaving Shaq. Uh, hang on. There was FOV tech of some kind. They certainly were able to get back on the gen somehow. They go window. Good fake out. Oh, and denying the, rain, uh, denying the M1 as well. And then lost him entirely. What? What a play. Spun themselves into the shadow realm. Ridiculous. Say hello to Yugi's grandfather for me. Uh, still on the hook. To the right. Are not going to be moving in for that save? Not doing so yet. Surely we'll do uh, shortly. No gem movement to the right. Back on monologued. And the aura reading so strong here. Should force a pallet burn it will. We get Blood Fury. 
Good play. Good moonwalk. Good dying state. Turn that into... Is... Second hook of the game. Only one gem pops. You imagine Killer Shack is not long for this world. But if you get the hook, Demon Fury over there, is there a chance with the speed of denying? There isn't. There isn't. Good commitment to the gen. They pivot to left, it looks like. Yes, indeedy. Then back to Shaq. Someone is doing some really, really good evasive maneuvers here. And it is doing the only into a, to a pretty absurd degree. They're going to try and go in for the unhook. They won't be able to, only here. Oh, good play. Had to lunge around the hook there to get it done. Gonna take the pick up, not gonna slug on this occasion. It is, after all, a bit of a testimonial. A dead rubber game, so gonna take this hook here. Should allow someone to move into the save, indeed they do. Gonna come back, hopefully for another injury. As they both run back, the yeah, unhook over there, really good play from them. As they both run back to... My monologue is going over the hill and far away. Barely any gem movement here. In fact, probably not even enough to warrant this pop goes a weasel kick. Check out if either of these are moving to any further degree here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe, maybe a happy situation here for the Onis. There is someone hiding behind this sign. It's going to run through. As they do the old burn and look. The old burn and look maneuver. This is the Prestige 100 Fung Min if I recall and uh yep they're doing the old i don't even have to get ground on you i don't even have to make up distance i've got you i'm just stare at you you think you can get me you can't they've laid down the gauntlet i'm gonna pick up the gauntlet and do my best to counter do they burn probably not this is a restrained gamer as we all know yeah just very very good very very good this will be a burn surely yeah stay flee little point only Long ago, lost any sense of pride. If he's not liking the chase, he's not going to take it on. What he can do, get Demon Fury out there. Try and take on some of these gems. Big movement on this one. Big movement on this one. Pivoting to the right of the scratch marks. Try to keep on them as best he can. Pop Goes a Weasel could be exceptionally useful around that gem. But they're doing a really good job of giving scratch marks, leaving scratch marks. But then fleeing the scene entirely. Seen it once again over there. It's need one solid chase with one solid set of scratch marks, but you've just been denied it. Time and time again, surely behind this pickup. Yes, indeed. Okay, so it's. Dang. Clean the scene. Only booting in the door. Around a gas station. He goes. Oh, it's a really aggravating but well played game of stealth, and it's just doing him for the only time and time again. Deary, deary me. What a nightmare. What an absolute nightmare for him. No one injured right now. Needs to rectify that if he's going to have any chance of bringing this game back. We'll want overcharge here for sure. And there could be a pretty good 3-gen in his future. Yeah, if he can keep these 3-gens on board, surely bounce landing it will be. Taking Monlod all the way to the window. Pivoting around. No window here. We'll have a pallet. No burn! All the way to the window. He's being outdone, outclassed routinely on these pallet loops. It's not been the swung song send-off. But the only, the only camp we're hoping for. Moving just conventionally around this pallet. Should be a burn here. It won't be. Okay, so that'll be an injury. There goes a gen. It's one that breaks up that three gen. Taking the injury. Moving elsewhere. That's a swan song. I meant to say swan song. You know what I meant to say. Oh, just Jen. Okay, little cheeky spin move there. Thankfully, only not falling for it. Could have ended up with uh, copious amounts of egg on his face. Or his mask, I suppose. Surely a burn. No burn. Burn now. Big aura reading. That might be enough to get the dying state. There's a pallet, but it's quite distant. Right, there you go. Fourth hook in play. 
trying to give the dredge at least something to beat here. A total of some kind of formidable nature. There goes your hook. When we get back over here, you presume there is already big movement on that gen. We'll get this one regress. Ah, no point to get out regressing. Expect it to be far, far more far along than it in fact was. Needs to get over to this gen. Question now becomes, can he get there before it pops? Certainly is speedy enough to get there quickly. There's big movement. Oh, good play in the locker. Needs to head on. Needs to head on. Needs to head on. Does. Okay. Just got the pick up in time. Pop goes a weasel here as well. Will be huge for the Oni. Certainly trying to enable their head on. It makes a lot of sense. Only having none of it. Okay. There's still hope for a turnaround here. It's very plainly a strong team. One blood orb. Every little helps. Tesco gaming. There's a bit of gem movement by the heel. Oh, they've tapped that. Don't know if that's the one that they're working on. I feel like this one might be moving a bit more. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Aha. Yeah. He is indeed on this gen. Far and away. The gen over yonder is the scariest one, even with that pop goes a weasel kick. Miss skill check and overcharge is huge. That'll be a little bump. A bump in its progress near to the right. Monlock to the right. But Fung Min up ahead. Force them to burn pallets early. That's amazing. Very plainly, they'll be looking to take Oni away. Oni needs to be a little bit more... A little bit more cautious. A little bit more conservative about how he takes on these chases. A scary gen situation in front of him. Mate, like you haven't seen the person on the left. Uh, of course you have. It'll be Meg. Into another immediate pallet burn. There's two folks occupied over here. That gen's now not moving too concerningly. It may well be time to pivot back. Try and keep gen pressure. Try and eke out as many gens as you can, as many hooks as you can, sorry. Also looking to get Demon Fury at some point in the future. Big movement here. Will it be enough? Well played. Well played. Thankfully, no adrenaline, so it will be an immediate dying state. Turn that into a hook. Blood Fury in the back pocket. No Gate Moon over there. There is still a chance for the Oni. Needs an immediate Blood Fury. Is this a point in which M5 screws up? It isn't. It isn't. So, hope for the Oni. Heading back to her nerve to the panel. It's moving already. Three lights. How on earth do you make that happen if you're this team? That's absurdly good. Flashbang, they'll be away. Coming back. Back to the hook. There's the unhook. Tough times ahead here. There's your scratch marks immediately. Off to the left. Want to get yourself between them and this gate. It's Fung Min. They've got around. They got around the only. Really well played. They weren't even there. They weren't even there. But you've got ahead of both Nier and monologued here. Do they at any point pivot to this gate? They very much could do. They don't, but there's an injured party. So it looks like it will be a consolation kill, but not much more than a consolation kill. Just a really tough game. Good lord. Not the way you would have wanted to bow out. And with how, with how the dredge generally has been, should be an eminently beatable total. If I know monologued, he will absolutely want to be here for the save. Yep. Okay. Getting injury early. Should be a trade here. Pointing at the hook. Ah, just going to take this hook. Surely. Thank you. Surely. Nia will be away to the gate. Simply the play to make. Yeah, indeed. So that'll be all she wrote for that one. Right, so the field recorder and the, is it the tattered pillow? Wrecked pillow, bad pillow, whatever the add-on is. <laughs> That's what he's running. Survivor running over to this gen. Be a nice early injury for the dredge. It will be just swung too early there, but thankfully not paying the price. Hey, what a quick turnaround that is. Okay. 
A nice swift start, the kind of swift start that was denied the Oni. That would be a quick pain res as well. Which almost certainly will be Killer Shack heading there immediately. It's not Killer Shack, it's the one outside the school. That makes a lot of sense. Right, well, what a good start this is for the dredge. Look for an injury here, we'll get it. Keep it on them, that will be live. Sort of run into the wall with it, bit of a head, head banging play there, like in dead space. We're gonna burn that pallet early to go back over, come back around. Should be an injury. Oh, it was not a guaranteed thing, but Garner's it. This is good dredge play already. This is a confident killer looking for a final win that made a good start in that regard. Um, you might not be too fast, honestly, about the, about going out of your way to enable the second pain rares. I mean, this gen is scary, I suppose, but you can get the kick to it and then take up and take on the chase thereafter. Feeling pretty confident. It's a dredge in the early running here. Because up ahead could be a really good opportunity to get ahead of the Ada here. She keeps on running. Oh, she changes her course. Yeah, good counterplay from her. Um, a, a great opportunity to use Dumbledore's revealed here. Try and get some more reading. Maybe around the unhook, presumably. Someone over yonder. They're not on the gen, on the totem. This could be a good opportunity. There they are. Oh, just got off in time. But it's a denial of the totem cleanse for what, that, for what that's worth. It's a killer check pallet burn. And it could be a really nice dying state in short order here. Depending on where they've gone, which is a great question. These are quite sparse scratch marks, it looks like. I wonder if it's a white, I wonder if they're a, a lightweight gamer. Not entirely sure. Heading all the way around here. Hedge gaming. Hedge gaming stumbling upon them. Got a window to the left, they won't be able to get to that. Should be all over here. Good stuff. First gen pops. Um, Fung Min though would. Have they already been on hook? I think so, so it won't be another Kane res hit. Aider of Yonder. Just forced him into the wrong side pallet burn. Very, very good for the dredge. Taking on a chase. No reason not to here, pivoting into the fence. As they might be looking for Killer Shack. They may not know the Killer Shack pallet has been burnt here. Moving around. Let's get some confused. Oh. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there more times than I could conceivably count. Uh, now could be a really good opportunity for Pain Res. Oof. Risking power struggle there. Gets the hook. Remember, nine hooks. The total to beat. Are you a bit of jumping upstairs, maybe? No. Get over to these ones. There is a bit of gem movement here. We're undetectable. Could be a great gen grab opportunity. Ah, no, they must have heard the locker moving. Able to get away. Promise you, there, there, there should be a survivor at the end of these scratch marks. Yeah, they go around there. Uh, this could be decent. We'll have to kick in the door, unfortunately. Jack, thanks so much for 15 months. 15 money months, say, where does the time go? I have no idea. No idea. I appreciate it, though. Thank you very much. But they're on the unsafe side. They'll have to burn. Dredge moving around. Remnant down. Moving along. And that will be just conventional. Nice M1 hit there. Are they teleport? But then going back around this way, I think that might get the goods. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Oh! Oh, very unlucky. Uh, has Fung Min been here? Constantly just discovered. Oh! Ah! Just happening. 
get back on Dwight. Uh, Luke, welcome in. Hergen, welcome in. Hello, Rip, as well. Morning, morning, morning. Hope we're doing well. Join us in a bit of a testimonial matchup in the World Cup. Both Dredge and Oni eliminated already. Oni's got nine hooks on the board. Dredge, for pride's sake, looking to beat that total. And another good opportunity for Darkness Revealed right now, you would wager. Oh, an outside chance someone's waiting around to get this gem moving again. No, there's someone over, over there. This could be a good teleport. Lock locker. Good stuff from them. Oh, they just commit. They don't have a pallet here, so it will be an injury. Looking for the teleport upstairs, unfortunately, not quite off cooldown. But the fear of it means they pivot to the outside. Could be very, very good for the dredge. Gonna go Vault, barring live. Still an okay chase for the dredge to be taking. Pivoting back indoors. Got the pallet here, moving around. Showing red stain, coming back. Not a bad move at all. Oh, maybe the injury was on there. Maybe the injury was on. It would have been close. They're going to get this window. Unless... Oh, medium vault. Needed a quick vault to evade. Didn't quite get it. Sick hook on the board. It might be a tight game, this. A really strong start, but things have been falling apart a little bit. Forcing a pain res hook could be really vital. If indeed the token not already used. Token already used and the gem pops. Well, well, well. Just like that. Just like that, you're in a uh, a three-gen situation. Going around the hedge. Not able to counter. Meg, not seen Meg all game long. Finally spy her here. Medium Vault, just able to get it down and live to boot. Good play from her. Oh, didn't need to move all there. Didn't pay the price. Didn't pay the price. Gets the grab. Payment's really important here in this two gen. And two of the two of the people healing on the right. Need a bit of a snowball if you're going to bring this back. And there could be an opportunity right now. Quite taking aggro. Takes the injury. Heading into the building. Trying to circumvent this could be a really good idea. Oh, there he was. So close. Dredge on his tail. Should be dying state. It will be. Comp corner plays. Hello, Rose. Welcome in. I am glad you've been enjoying. Dredge. 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 Absolutely. Right. Over to the gens. Dredge. No, uh, no lockers nearby for this gem. We'll have to get that one and move around. Left that pallet up all game. Now might be the time to get it booted. Still only eight hooks. So as it stands, the Oni taking the win. Needs to get another hook on the board to get the draw. Heading back over to Killer Shack. Gen. A really good time to use Dancer Build here for the order reading. Should be doing that when you have the teleport in hand. Not so now. Oh, they just. <gasps> I think they've been discovered. No, they haven't. They haven't. Oh, that was almost timed perfectly to get the grab. Would have been so very close as they head downstairs. On the Meg. They will have fled out of the building immediately. Which way left? Keeping them inside, it's like a kind of peripheral line there that could be an open door for the dredge. Very impactful hook coming up. Moonwalk there, not quite going to get it done. Oh, in fact, they flee the pallet entirely. <laughs> Intriguing stuff leading to a dying state. Oh, the Mori! Uh, yeah. yeah. Why not? Why not? For the fans. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Oh, my God. I forgot how brutal 
This more he is. It does lead to last gen popping. Survivor over yonder. As it stands, it will be a draw. Needs one more hook to secure the win. Hang on. Where have they gone? There was someone on this tile, but they've somehow fled the scene. Heading over to this uh, gate, presumably. No movement on it yet. We'll be looking for some aura reading, so... Searching the locker. It's a pretty good Morius up there. I, it's Cenobites for me. It's the best one. That one's also pretty damn good. Needs a non lock locker here. Ideally. As there is no gate movement over here. Nor over here. Horrible gates for the dredge. Uh, when to start to feel come back? Not for some time. Just heard the faintest of killer instincts there. Come back over here. I think a very, very good. Some really good stealth gaming from the survivors so far today. And that gives you no intel, meaning they have to be on this gate. Is there a chance of denying this gate? Big noises. Over yonder for some reason. It's Dwight. Picking up the kick, moving around. I go pallet there. This dredge going to rid itself of it. Taking on this chase, presumably doing this because the gate is 99. It seems to make a lot of sense. No? Just memeing. Okay. And go over. No weight tech here. There is the injury. Okay. So this for the win. If Dredge can close this down in quick fashion, he'll be loving life. They'll get the vault. Can they get over to the pallet? The pallet is on the right. That's they go the right way. Pivoting around immediately. Yeah, because you know that Dwight's going to want to try and get as much distance as early on as possible. Dissolution. So important for the Dredge. Still no gate movement. They'll be furious about that. Good movement for the Dwight. Are the gate open? So they need to get all the way across the map to make it happen. Can they do it? It's a great question. The answer is no. So they're going into a corner. <laughs> ah! So that'll be the win and the, and the Mori opportunity here. Get into a nice, into a nice cinematic position. So 10 hook statuses, the final total. For the dredge, assuming the other two are just going to get out, which would seem to make a lot of sense. This will be the gate. This, this must be the gate. I don't want it. I, uh, I got plenty of time. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I, uh, Sorry. I've been on a bit of a talk another talking heads kick as of late. So, 9-10. Some interesting games here. So that will mean that the Dredge gets its first win of the tournament. And weirdly, such a tough luck story for the Dredge. That's the only game in which it did not get a 4K. And it just so happens to be the one in which it got the win, finally. So, you know, that's what can happen with head-to-head -head contests, as we all know. Only a disappointing campaign from him. And ends up bottom of group a, so nothing changes. Nurse will be through to the quarterfinals. No one else can qualify as strongest second place. Nurse on top with eight points, 41 hooks. Dredge, 46 hooks, but only six points. Plague in third with five points, 40 hooks. Pyramid Head in fourth with four points for 34 hooks. And only in last place, three points or so on 34 hooks. Okay.